What's good, YouTube? Nope. That's not it. Yeah! Nope. That's not it either. Ah, I got it. What's new, Punky Crew? It's your turn, Crobat here, and you're watching another Oris Wi Fi battle. This time it's a battle against Michael, and as you can see, the background is different. I'm actually in my room, um, and I wanted to kind of um, have a new environment because I really can't always be in the kitchen. So I wanted to try something new. I'm trying all you know, this little setup here in my room. Um, pay no attention to the pink walls, just don't. Um, but. Uh, this is an Oris Wi-Fi battle against Michael, and he's bringing all sorts of problem Pokemon. He, that Volcarona and that Garchomp, oh my, Lanta, not to... Nah. So he's bringing the Gardevoir, the Garchomp, the Volcarona, the Superior, the Starmory, Starmie, Starmory? I was gonna say Skarmory, and uh, Starmory and Skarmory, um, but I have a few Pokemon who can kinda, um, you know, take some attacks from some of his, uh, some of his Pokemon. Because I'm rocking out with the Hippodon, the Lucario, the Azumarill, the uh, Latias, the uh, Gardevoir of my own, and the Lopunny. So let's kind of figure out, you know, what's going down. Because quite frankly, I need to uh, get Lopunny's speed up as fast as possible because I need that uh, priority and I need that speed to help me. So right now, I'm just gonna lead off with um, with Gloria, and we're just gonna trade rocks here because you know why not? I kind of like getting rocks set up uh, late game, just because people don't really expect you to throw out the rocks that late. But you know, I'm just gonna do it first, just because I need more hurting for the pushing. No? Okay. I'm just gonna roar them out because I. I know Skarmory is faster, but I wish that I was because I don't want these spikes. I don't want these spikes at all. What's in my mouth do? Uh, so, he's leading, he's going to throw out the Starmie. That's a problem. Even though I am defensive, I wasn't sure if this Starmie was going to be physical or not. It, it probably could be uh, special, but I'm going to go out into a zoom roll, my Whiplash, because I know that I can take a water attack if that's what he wanted to do. To, if that's what he wanted to do. But... He just rapid spins everything away that I tried so hard to put out. Speaking of putting out, now I'm not going to go there. So I'm going into Crimson Lady because I know none of my Pokemon really want this, uh, want to deal with the spikes and the uh, stealth rocks. I'm going to defog everything away because quite frankly, like I mentioned, none of my Pokemon want to get things shoved up there. Woohoo! And so I'm defogging, defogging everything away. Um, he goes out into um, the Skarmory again, which is kind of weird. Um, I figured, well, I assumed rather he wanted to throw out the more, uh, more spikes and everything. Which it kind of got me thinking. Um, he, at this point, I don't think he wants to set up any entry hazards to hurt me. I just think, I just really think he wants things shoved up my woo hoo. -hoo and that's not a good time. Trust me, I know. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna use Psy Shock because at this point I need to get some damage, if any damage, off on this Skarmory. I know um, it's not gonna do anything at all because what Psychic is resisted against Steel or or vice versa or whatever. But it's not gonna do anything at all. I've come to terms with that. I've come to terms with the fact that my Light Ass can't do a damn thing to the Skarmory. So. I really need to defog again because at this point, I just, at, soon rather, I am going to be switching out. Now, I wanted to get more um, damage off on the Skarmory because I just really, really wanted it to get to a point where I can just bring in a uh, Whiplash and just finish up the Skarmory. So, I am going to be wishing because I know that I can take another Steel Wing. I know for a fact I can take another Steel Wing. Let's be serious, come on. Um, which kind of begs the question, uh, what moves does this Skarmory know? I wasn't really sure, because I don't really see Steel Wings on um, Skarmory's, but... So, I'm just going to Psy Shock again, because at this point, I feel like I can just bring in just about anybody. But I can take an Air Slash, I can take a Steel Wing, but right now, um, my wish is going to be granted, and I'm going to get the Life Recovery, which is a grand old time. 
And so at this point, you know, I'm restoring all those leftovers. She got hungry. She needed it those leftovers she needed them so I'm switching out I'm going into whiplash because I know that I can take an attack but he doesn't attack he goes for the stealth rocks try to push things up my butt you don't do that so I can take an attack I am an assault vest Azumarill um so I'm gonna a waterfall here because I figured an aqua jet wasn't gonna do the trick I'm gonna waterfall take out the Skarmory thank god because quite frankly that Skarmory, I don't want any entry hazards on my side of the field. I really, really don't. I don't. This is the part that um, made me happy. It'll probably make you happy as well. Superior. You would think that it would hit a Leaf Storm, take me out. It missed the first Leaf Storm, and I hit the knockoff, and I take just barely take out the Superior with a with an Aqua Jet. It hits the second Leaf Storm, but it doesn't. It's not going to do anything because one, I'm Assault Vest, and two, because it doesn't have that boost in special attack right now. So the Superior is just ready for an Aqua Jet. So I hit the, uh, the second Aqua Jet and take out the Superior. And I was happy! I was happy. Whiplash put in the work. I took out the Skarmory and Superior. How often have you heard of a Water Pokemon taking out a Grass Pokemon? Come on. But I'm just going to allow Whiplash to get taken out with an Aqua Jet by the Starmie. Now, this is the part where I'm like, crap, what should I uh, do to the Starmie, right? So I'm going to go into She-Spear, my Gardevoir, because I am Life Orb. Uh, I am not a Mega. Um, do I have a Mega on the scene? I don't think so. I'm going to trace the Illuminate. Now, the thing with that, I don't usually use Starmies all that much. So how often do they have Illuminate? Isn't it some other ability that they have? I don't know. Let me know. But I'm just going to credit and take out the Starmie. Thank God, because, you know, Starmies are really, really fast. Thinking about it now, I should probably use one again, because I've used one in the past, like, once. I don't know. But he rocks up with his Gardevoir, which, by the way, is uh, it's a Mega, which is perfectly fine by me. I don't really care. Now, the thing is, right before it Mega Evolved, I was able to outspeed it, and I'm going to hit a Shadow Ball off on his Mega Gardevoir. Now, the second he Mega Evolved, after this turn, he is going to outspeed me, so that's unfortunate, because he is, in fact, going to shoot off his own Shadow Ball, take out my Gardevoir, which it does suck, because she Spare is putting in the finest of work, but unfortunately, you know, you know, you have to take some chances, you have to take some risks, and I allowed Gardevoir to go down, and that's perfectly fine, because I wanted Ditsy to come in. I wanted Ditsy to come in. Um, Mega Evolve, because like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I needed the, um, I needed the speed. I really needed the speed. Um, so, I'm just gonna hit the Fake Out, because I know from this range, uh, Fake Out is just gonna take out the Gardevoir, and I was right, thank goodness, because if it didn't, I didn't really want to get hit with anything, because quite frankly, uh, even though Lopini is very, very hard hitting. It is very frail at the same time. So, Garchomp comes in. Now, I'm thinking it's going to use an Earthquake. I don't want Lopini taking an Earthquake. That would probably take her out. I'm going to Gloria. Gloria is my physically defensive fat girl. And so, I'm so sorry I said that. But she is. Um, because she's going to take an Earthquake very, very well. And she has lefties. Um, now, I was kind of surprised he used a Dragon Rush. Um, I don't often see that, but he realizes that it's going to do more work than an Earthquake, so I applaud him on, you know, figuring that out, because, uh, it would probably take less time to take me out with the Dragon Rush than it would an Earthquake, but I'm gonna hit another Earthquake on the Garchomp, thank goodness, because I need, my plan was to have Gloria be in here as long as possible, and bring Garchomp down to a point where I can just bring in Ditsy and, you know, fake out whatever need be. But I'm going to slack off here because I need Gloria around for this Garchomp, so why wouldn't I want to keep her in, you know? Or why wouldn't I want to keep her around? So at this point, you know, I'm glad I avoided that attack, and I'm going to roll the Garchomp out because quite frankly, I don't want to take any more attacks from the Garchomp, even though I can take them. I don't really want to take them, you know? So this is the problem, Pokemon. This is the part, actually, where, um, where I'm like, crap, I'm going to lose. Because of this full Corona, I'm going to lose. Um, but I'm going to set up my rocks only because I thought maybe they would help. 
Um, but I got, you know, I wanted to get some damage off on the Volcarona, but I figured, um, if he switches out, those rocks are gonna come in handy. So, I'm gonna switch out. Um, I'm going into my Latias, because I wanted, I was thinking, should I attack, or should I just get rid of the rocks? Um, I figured I would rather not have the rocks on my side, so I'm just going to, uh, defog. I know it gets rid of, um... The rocks that I put out on his side, but I need a defog because I I can't take Ditsy cannot take any more rock damage, so I really need a de uh, defog. And I I feel like that was a good play, um, even though this um, Volcarona is just gonna obliterate my Latias here. I really needed to get the rocks away from my side at least. Um, so right now he he's gonna quiver dance all over my face, which. Sounds actually like my Friday nights. <laughs> He's gonna uh, bug buzz me and just take me out. That's really really unfortunate, but um I had to play I had to do that. I had to get rid of the rocks. Yeah, I would have liked to get some um ship damage off. So, okay, Lucario's holding the sash, and he's gonna fire dance, taking me down to my sash. Um, don't ask me what the hell I was thinking, but I'm gonna nasty plot right here. Um, and I'm going to, uh, um, well, you'll see here in a second. It's kind of a, a, a misplay, because I didn't really know what, uh, what to do. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to, uh, do. I use, I use a vacuum wave. I don't know. I use a vacuum wave. Um... I didn't know how much damage it was going to do, to be honest. Um, but I used it anyways. Um, at least I got some chip damage off, if it, that counts for anything. Um, so, I mean, I guess in a sense, I'm glad that I got a little bit of chip damage off. But it doesn't do much at all. Um, and you know, it's, it's going to recover with all those lefties. So, I, I guess it doesn't really matter that I used the vacuum wave. I didn't know how much it was going to do, to be honest. Um, I thought maybe with the nasty plot was going to do a little bit more, but I don't use vacuum wave ever, so I wasn't sure. I'm going to fake out the Volcarona, because I know that that fake out's going to hurt! And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to recover, you know, with the lefties, and that sucks. It does. But right now, I am faster, so I'm going to return, and this return is, in fact, going to take out the Volcarona, which is great! I'm so happy that I was able to take out the Volcarona. Um, and right now... I am, in fact, just going to, um, well, actually, no. He's going to go into Garchomp, and I'm going to switch out, because I know, like I mentioned in the earlier, earlier in this video, I can't take an Earthquake. Why can't I, why can't I take an Earthquake? So, I'm going to go out into, uh, Gloria, because I know Gloria can take an Earthquake. From that range, I know that she can. Now, from this point, um, I just wanted to get more Earthquakes off on the Garchomp, because I wanted to get more damage for, uh, Ditsy, you know? Um, because I'm not going to, I'm not going to slack off here at this point. I know that I'm... I can take an attack or two. I'm going to use an Earthquake, get more damage off because Ditsy is going to need that. Even though it, it, it is going to eat its uh, Citrus Berry, and it sucks, but even though it's going to eat its Citrus Berry, um, I, I'm still going to let Gloria go down because I know that the Fake Out is going to do a butt ton of damage. Um, so I, I don't care about letting Gloria go down in here um, because I needed Lopini to come in and hit the Fake Out. Everybody needs to be faked out, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what kids are into nowadays. I'm too old. So, Glor- uh, not Glory. Uh, Lopini, my Ditsy's gonna hit Fake Out. And, it, yeah, I'm gonna get hit with the rough skin, but it doesn't really matter, um, because the return is just gonna take out Garchomp from that range anyways, um, as you can see right here. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, Lopini is such a hard-hitting girl. She is such a great Pokemon to use. Yeah, you know, she's frail, but... It's definitely worth having on your team for that fake out um, because it's super fast for one because as you can see it outsped um, a lot of things. It outsped the Volcarona after two Quiver Dances. So you have to give her props to that. So if you don't have a Lopini on your team, I suggest you getting yourself a Ditsy because quite frankly, Ditsy put in the finest of work and I love having a Ditsy girl on my team. So. If you guys enjoyed this battle, please, by all means, RCS, rate, comment, and subscribe because I'm bringing you guys Wi-Fi battles every single day, or at least I tried to. But if you enjoy this battle, then like I mentioned, all you have to do is show your support. And I'm going to end it right here, but I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Bye.